everybody, E here, I got a package. So we today we have yet another, where'd I put that knife? I lost my kniff. We have yet another unboxing video for you. This one, I'm not 100% sure what this one is. <gasps> is it? I wasn't expecting this. Oh wow, okay, hang on, hang on here. That was loud. Yeah, I didn't even know this shipped. I don't know what's wrong with Cemetery Dance's uh, system, but I am certainly not getting uh, the emails letting me know that uh, books are being sent to me. That's a problem. I got 20th Century Ghosts by Joe Hill. Let me get this open. This is actually from uh, Letterhead, isn't it Letterhead Press? I think it's Letterhead Press. This is a Letterhead Press edition. My uh, copy of, let's see here, what is it? Revival, I think it is, um, is was Letterhead Press also. And, or was it Horns? Dude, I can't remember. Anyways, enough stalling, let's get to the table. Okay, so here we are at the table. This is the book. It's got a happy face, smiley face pin like Randall Flagg or Mr. Mercedes. 20th Century Ghost, Joe Hill. Go ahead and get the book out for you. Ooh, this is nice. I like this one. I like this a lot. Cemetery dance books tend to be hard to replace in their slip cases. They are so tight. Uh, my, in fact, my Shining and my uh, Sleeping Beauties are, da the dust jackets are damaged because of that. A uh, really cool spine. Got a ribbed spine ribbed for my pleasure. Oh wow. Okay. So this is a this exclusive art print is limited to 1750 1750 copies signed by the artist Vincent Sammy. So That's cool. It almost looks like Dorothy from Oz. We're going to start going through this. Oh, that's rad. That is really really cool. It's signed by Joe Hill and Christopher Golden. I think Christopher Golden uh, wrote the introduction. This special edition of 20th Century Ghosts is limited to 1,750 copies. Title card. Title card part two. Title card, but no, this is, <laughs> this is the table of contents. All right, so we're going to do this like we do the other ones. I'm going to flip through. Looking for the pictures. That's the introduction. This is Best in Show, I believe. That's the first story in here. No, Best Horror, not Best in Show. Sorry. Best in Horror. Yeah, Button Boy. Dog, that is, that is sick. I like that a lot. All right. This one is 20th Century Ghosts. Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, this, it wasn't until I read Son of Celluloid uh, that uh, this has a, a very similar feel, feel to it for me, Clive Barker's Son of Celluloid. But I like 20th Century Ghosts as a story fine. Ah, uh, yes, pop art. This is my, this is one of my favorite short stories of all time. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, wow. Is that, yeah, it's his head and then you got the, the balloon, so you got his head. Almost looks like, what is it, Baymax? That balloon's in there. Yeah. You will hear the locust sing. This is a riff off of uh, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. That's cool. It looks like one of the old school, um, old school B movies from like the 50s. Looks like the poster for that. And we have Abraham's Boys. This is probably my least favorite story in the collection. This is literally about, you know, Ab Abraham Van Helsing and vampires and whatnot. It's a, it's a, it's an okay twist on the story, but um, it's just probably my least favorite story in the entire collection. Cool, cool picture though. Uh, Better Than Home, the black phone. So that's that one. I really like the the mixture of the mixed media here, at least it seems mixed media. If it's all uh, original hand-drawn artwork, that is my bad. In the Rundown. That's a cool picture. I don't know why it reminds me of The Crow, but it does. And we have The Cape, which is another very, very cool story in this collection. Boom. Like an old comic book. Hell yeah. 
Didn't he write a series of comics called The Cape? I think he did. Let me know down there in the doobly-doo if you know. All right, next one. Last Breath. <gasps> Ooh. Carrie Mayfield. That's what it says down here. It's really nice. I don't know if the picture's blown out, but that's an eye. That's a jar. Really, really cool. I like that. All right. Deadwood. Oh, yeah, that's that's cool. I like that image a lot. Bobby Conroy comes back from the dead. I don't, even, I don't remember this story at all. I wonder which one this is. I'm going to have to reread some of these. I like to go through these. Ah, look, it's like Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, it is Dawn of the Dead, literally. Cool, all right. Then we have My Father's Mask. Boom. That is so friggin' cool. Look at that, man. Can, I hope y'all can see this stuff clear enough. These are. This is really, really good artwork. Voluntary Committal. I think this is the last piece of artwork. Yep. Bro, what is that? Oh, wow. That's wicked. That's really, really cool. I think that's my favorite one so far. It's the last one, so they saved the best for last. We have new words for old stories. Acknowledgements updated. And you have several pages of acknowledgements. Then, uh, Shazarad's typewriter? I probably said that all wrong. There's one more image back here I'm trying to get to. There we go. There we go. It's the typewriter ball. So this is really, really cool. I like these end papers, man. I like these end papers. Cemetery dance. Step your game up. Actually, I don't, I don't even know if they'll be in business in a couple of years, man. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> as, as it is right now. Uh, every time they have to ship something out, they end up putting things up on eBay or grab bags or all different kinds of stuff just so they can uh, clear out inventory and make some money so they can ship their books. At least that's what it seems like. Uh, but that that's that's my opinion. That's allegedly I don't I don't I don't know, man. But it just feels that way. It takes two three years for them to make a book, and then it's they it's radio silence until they have to ship something, and then they ship something and you know. It, it, it gets here, but it takes, you know, two, three years to get here. This is actually from uh, Letterhead Press, though. Uh, after The Stand and Pet Cemetery, I won't be buying any more books from Cemetery Dance. I'm tired of waiting, um, you know, years and years and years for books. They're just not worth it to me. Um, so after the Double Day collection is finished, I'm done with it. I probably should have put that on my night shift uh, showcase. But anyways, uh, Letterhead Press is doing fine. I know Brian Freeman owns it and he's part of Cemetery Dance or he was at one point in time. Um, my favorite press right now is Suntup. Um, a close second is Letterhead Press. So I'll continue buying, uh, books from them as long as the prices stay good and the shipping, it usually takes them about six months, uh, six to nine months to make a book. And that's a heck of a lot better than two to three years. There are people who've been waiting, uh, six to 10 years. Um, my friend Mike was talking about Shivers Volume 6. He still hasn't received his copy of that. Anyways, I said all that uh, here at the end, but uh, it's it's all supposition on my, my, my end of what Cemetery Dance is actually doing, but this isn't Cemetery Dance. I had bought it through Cemetery Dance. Cemetery Dance shipped it, but uh, uh, people were already getting it. That's another thing. You know, they, they'll get books in and uh, everyone else, like dark regions will ship, you know, a months before they actually do. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this is 20th Century Ghosts by Joe Hill, the limited edition from Letterhead Press. I like it very, very much. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another unboxing of a limited edition. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.